jungler and an engaged jungler. You have a winning top, winning mid, winning bot. The problem is we've seen these kind of drafts against teams like G2. Once these lanes lose prio, they're going to be really weak. So if Mad Lions can crack Rogue in the early game or crack them in the team fights, Rogue are going to find it really difficult to come back, especially with a Caitlyn Morgana who can't really face check. They need control to have hope if it goes right. Did they get past the tower vision there? I wonder if the tower sold them. They're going to yeah. get Humanoid. He might have to flash. No. Leap in. Humanoid immediately has to flash the safety. Trimby, maybe a little bit too quick on the trigger finger there. Could have waited. Trap follow. Kaiser now trying to go in with the Black Shield there. And Karzi losing almost all of his life. El Yoya on the way in, though. And Black Shield is down. Level three on the Bola Bear. They just realized and it might be too a little bit too late. Hansama going to be in trouble. He's in the midst of the entire creep wave. Maybe he can get one back. Oh, Hansama! This is too clean. He makes it a one for one. He uses the heal anyway, I guess, just for a little bit extra. But that's got to be a good trade for Rogue. Oh, man. Hansama played that. Against Sustana. She leaps in. She procs all three Halo Blades autos. She leaps right back out. Yeah, that is the power of Tristana winning the lane, winning mid, winning bolt. Good going finding. aggressive here. Good trap, good follow up. Kaiser now going to be in trouble. The E doesn't connect. That's going to be key. The 90 caliber net not Leona hitting instead of it. And now, after the quick rotation from Lars towards the bot side, it is now Humanoid taking matters into his own hands, moving top. First ultimate used. How many cooldowns are left available? Odawamne doesn't even have the empowered W. He does not. The healing, yes, he does. He is going to come in, but he cannot continue to connect the chain. That means he will drop. Donating the kill over to Armut is massive for Mad. The weak side machine gets dove again. All but series long, and every single game has come down to very critical dragon fights. And it's inspired maintaining the control of it early on that has so often put Rogue into the favorable. Yeah, Trimby gets the base off first, so he's towards his Herald, though. But Mad Lions have numbers first, inspired. That's the ultimate. Trimby's here now. Supports are all in the pit. Rogue really, well. really want to fight this. Helicopter hacker him just zooming in and out of the fight. Odomni now retreating. The flash in, the commitment. They don't even need flash on him, but now they're trying to turn it back. Odomni flash back out to safety, but no, the follow up is there. They dunk right back down, and Mad take the skirmish. A critical fight there for Mad to map win. going ahead and taking that Gromp camp. So once again, Rogue should be able to stack two very early Drakes. The difference this time is I'm a little bit more concerned about Rogue's team fighting and the front line they actually have for their two carries. Yeah, you saw the goal. Oh. TP now coming out. Hansama wants to finish the job, but he's not going to have Hansama. enough time to. Oh, he's oh. all the tower. He just barely gets it again. Making the one for one happen. Hans Sama is a madman. Caitlyn playing this so far back in the day, back on Misfits. He just stares down cars underneath this tower. And it is a very serious, very high pressure game. But the act of Caitlyn alting under a tower is the funniest thing I have seen in weeks. That is kind of insanity and kind of confidence. But he had no options, right? Humanoid was TPing behind him. Wait, Inspired Whoa. ultimate is in. Humanoid flashing over the wall. They're trying to finish it. He's inspired. No way out of this one. He's trying to zoom out to safety, but Humanoid grabs the kill. Trimby could now be in trouble. The binding going out, but will not connect. Kaiser over the wall, ready oh, to go in. Where's the black shield going to go? Teleport in. Alti now committed. Larson on the way. This is going to be so much money for Larson. If he can find this kill on the Humanoid, and he is, they're going to donate it over to him. The chain connects, but Larson finishes the job. 300 gold in the back pocket of the Tristana. That's such a weird series of events in a sense. Inspired ults the wave to clear it out from Humanoid to prevent him getting a plate. Then he gets punished, but then they get punished. Mad Lions pushing onto this top tower, have the Herald for the plates. But Rogue, before this fight kicked off, before Han Sama just stood in front of Kazi's face and shot him with the ultimate, he was 1.3k gold up, and this is a full tower in Han Sama's pocket. Yeah, Han Sama getting so much off this play at the same time. Humanoid doing everything in his ca he can to get a kill. Of course, then does get traded out by the rest of Rogue, and this is the risk you run when you teleporting it time. again. But that is the 2-0-0 Wukong. That is a level 10 armor ready to go in. Han Sama, not a lot of room to maneuver here. A second alt up and available. He finishes the job instantly with the Divine Sun. But Mad Lions taking the second dragon. That's a big shift in the game. Absolutely is. And again, shift in the strategy. Funneling Golden Armor, 3 0 0 on the Wukong. The comfort pick he used to beat Mad Lions. Can he use it to beat Rogue here? Leaping in. Trimby now going to be in trouble. Knockback has to flash out to safety. And Mad Lions feel a little revitalized now. They, of course, can pack quite a punch and ruin the Rogue backline. Yeah, Armut is really strong in this Wukong. If he can find flanks, if he can find the backline, he'll always dominate the fights. But 15 minutes in, Rogue have all three Alto Towers. Mad Lions only have two. That's of course, the Mad be able to, may be able to get this one scot free. You can see pings, red ping, team pings onto the bottom side, knowing that Larson needs to fire back with some damage bottom side if they want to get anything. But for now, the shockwave needs to be primed and ready as Armut collapsing this top wave. But one doesn't really have damage to deal with him. And you can see both teams are playing sort of like a 4 1. Armut on top side pushing in. Larson on both. Some true damage on the team, but. It's still so hard to burn through these high health targets as now we see the TP used mid lane. Both teams are ready for a full on 5v5 if that's what's going to take. Herald charges mid. No follow up quite yet. Still eyes on the Shockwave. Orion. The ball it hits two, but there's no follow up. Armut does not want to leap in there quite yet. And now the turn could come in. They know there's no major cooldowns. They, they instantly humanoid. burn them down. Humanoid overstepping the Shockwave, costing them more than it earned. It cannot keep happening. Mad Lions back are so against. Humanoid having flash up, getting hit by a binding, and then just getting taken down means the fight's over. It's only going to be the second dragon. 
Dragon for Rogue. It won't be Dragon Soul Point because Ma Mad Lions off. The Black Shield will stop the engage in its tracks. And Mad Lions are going to have to look for a fight. Oh, Yo-Yo ready to go over the wall. He can shut down the tower. It would be so incredibly brave to try and force it. on the fight on the flank. Good poke on the They're now backing away. They don't have a creep wave. It's too Kaiser. Take that one down. Kaiser, no engage. Left to get pulled back. The shockwave only going to connect on one. Trimby will be sacrificed, but now the re-engage comes in, and this is where Rogue are in their element. Ulti coming out for Hansama. Not quite enough mobility to follow up, but Rogue trading even overall. It's a double kill for Hansama. Larson has the ultimate to work with. Odoamne can shield them while they start this up. Mad Lions looks oh, like Hansama. Getting... massive. Hans gets chunked out so much from tanking the Nash from the True Shot Barrage. Looks like Rogue have used all their tempo to start up this Baron. They're going to have to base. Mad Lions are all on with control now. Despite losing the fight, I think they can pick up this mid tower. Yeah, they certainly should be able to find the mid tower. Good chunk from Humanoid again, just forcing Larson further away from Just to stop them from being able to chase down Hans and Larson. The Dragon has spawned. This could be Dragon Soul Point for Rogue. Watch the Oriana ball. Watch the flashes for both the carries on the side of Rogue. Can they hold on? But a poke comes in. Really locked in on the target. Trap line reset up here around the fight. Inspired regrouping with the team. It's getting lower and lower. Can they take it away? Now they're leaping and they just want the objective. They oh. want to, but they don't burn it down. The dragon resets. The dragon resets. And still, Mad Lions get it. That is disaster. Ormond into the back line trying to get anything done, but he still gets cut down. Rogue are simply too strong in the fight. Rogue get two kills after Mad Lions trying to dives and they had control of the river. But once Rogue gets the setup, it's so hard for Mad Lions to crack it. They tried to go through both. They tried to find the engage. Held my breath for a second there, because if that stole the Baron, that could be a disaster for Rogue, but they get the fight. Maybe damage come, and it's been inspired on the flank pretty much every time, stopping him from finding that optimal position. Mad Lions have to figure out a way to get oh, armor in Mad Lions' face. Mad Lions pushing top is a good thing, but Rogue are playing on two lanes. They need to find a way to stop this siege. There's still a minute and a half left for Rogue's Baron with two ADCs, double and chairs. Like, how do you stop the siege? It's so hard without the forcing a fight. Though. Armut is teleporting in. It's all or nothing for the Mad Lions. It's the big bet. Can they do it? Inspired ready to interrupt. Elio has to go in. They know they have to go for this, but I'm not waiting into the darkness. The ulti used, though. The ulti from Inspired does not connect. Han Sama, though, the one that you need to watch. The lead back. He dodges the shockwave. Larson untouched. Mad Lions have not found the fight that they're looking for, but Kaiser goes for the re-engage anyway. Elio off to the backside. The flash. The stun. Is it enough? Han Sama is still alive. Han Sama will get down. shut down. Kaiser grabs the kill. Inspired getting cut down where he stands, and Rogue have to run for the hills. Mad. They found their fight. Mad. They found their opportunity. Can. They Find more. Oda Wamne next on the list. He will fall. Mad Lions do it again from the grips of defeat. They see their angle into the fight. It's Armut teleporting in. Armut cannot find his flank. Smart play by Rogue, though. Let's not walk into River and find a fight. Let's just push mid. And eventually, Mad Lions will have to base or they're going to lose the game. There's still 30 seconds on this dragon. I think Mad Lions were in this ball side River split. a bit too early. The recalls are split. They're hitting this tower. Can they break the tower? Looks like they just get it uncontested. Excellent read from Rogue. Don't Armut's flash coming up now. Serpent's Fang, Divine Sunderer. Oh, Trimby expects something. Ult. Level 16. Will he spot him out? Spot him out ahead of the play. You might find yourself. Oh, they saw him! They They're saw him! They're Pryo. pinging him! They're turning away. Karzi's ultimate hits Hansama, but it's not nearly enough. Predator now used. They're going to get the objective, but now Mad have to take the fight. Hansama has the shield. Armut into the back line. It might be too, a little bit too late. He gets knocked right back out and Rogue. They're taking their time on Mad Lions, but they're winning the fight. Karzi, no room to maneuver, but still, just in time. The locket saves the day. Trimby pulled back. Humanoid coming in clutch. Armut coming in clutch. Mad Lions finding the fight versus Rogue. How did Armut survive? He went into three members. He got knocked away. The ultimate from Caitlyn won't pick up Karzi. There's no Baron for Mad Lions. They're still fighting here. Hans has no summoners. He's one versus three. Odoamne has TP. If you want. It's 45, 45 seconds, seconds of Baron. As long as they take their time and find the kill, Hansama has no recourse left. It's a free Baron for them as well. They grab Hansama. Baron in the sights of Mad Lions. Such a good play from the Mad Lions there. Yes, Mad they lose. Lions on the Baron. They were falling further and further in behind, but now they are in control of this game. Yes, they are down a dragon, but they are up 3,000 gold. They are scaling into this game, and you can see very clearly Armut is not a man Watch to be Armut. It's a 1-4 comp. The pressure is going to be on the side. Armut's even got a Serpent's Fang. He's just trying to cut through all the shielding that Rogue are trying to put on the their win top. here. Can they close it out? Such a big top wave crashing. Hans has to clear out the whole thing. That means Mad Lions can just do a switcheroo, run it down mid, get the mid tier three. Maybe they can look for the inhib. There's another top wave coming in. This Baron buff is going to last a little bit more. So how do Rogue hold on? Do they just wait for Mad Lions to just take a couple inhibs and then let them back off and regain control afterwards? Or do they want to look for a fight? I mean, Armut even potentially has a flank down to this bottom lane. They're bringing Karzi up into the top lane to make sure they can knock down this tower. Bot lane falling down low too. Hans Humanoid. He finds the shockwave. He couldn't do a game one. He couldn't do a game two. But when it mattered, 
most. He finds the pick. Mad Lions moving in. El Yoyo moving in. Kaiser there for the follow-up. There is no escape. Mad Lions will not go quietly. Mad Lions will not be clean swept. It is Mad Lions who will find the win in game three and bring it back for game four. One shockwave was the nail in the coffin for Rogue. The final shockwave of the game finds hands. Trimby was in range for the Black Shield and Mad Lions turned this into a series. 3-2 from Armut. He believes in the reverse sweep. And the fortitude 